Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So I'm currently doing a course and on this course it involves a lot of reflection and it's actually quite fascinating and I've really thoroughly enjoyed the reflection. Although sometimes it can take me hours to go through all the different things that have triggered me and you know inspired me and whatever through the day, but it's really worth it. And one of the things that I have realised through doing this is about planning. Now, I have thought long and hard about goal setting and planning and whatever through my life, but I've never seen it from quite this aspect. And although what I learned particularly applies to team coaching, what I've realised is that it actually applies to life as well. And not necessarily individual projects, um, I don't want to say that you should follow this, but just for general for life. And what I've learned is that in planning, it's really good to plan, but not to plan to the extent that you are so rigid that there's no flexibility. So the way I see it, it's a bit like having a scaffolding, a scaffolding made of bamboo that kind of can, can move and shift with the wind and shift with the weather. Something that is light, something that gives you structure, but also allows you freedom to play in the moment. Structure so that you have um, a way, an idea of how to move forward in your life. You have an idea of the things that you want to build into your life, a direction that you're going, but flexibility to allow you to adapt to what is going on in life, the different changes, the political changes, the economic changes, um, your relationship changes, to everything that happens in life that we can't plan for. Because when you're rigid in your planning, when it is absolutely exact and to the sort of moment, it, one, it sort of sucks the joy out of life because you know exactly what you're doing, there's no anticipation, it's, it's sort of, to me, it's confining. It means that I can't be spontaneous. Um, I can't sort of enjoy things and get a thrill out of life because it's so structured. But I do need structure because without structure, there is no, it's almost too free. It's too spontaneous. It doesn't have direction. And I can't then make sure that I'm building things into my life that I want. I'm not achieving things. I'm not setting my life on a path that is going to take me where I want to go in life. But too much structure means that my path is rigid. And what I've learned in life is that my path has never been rigid. Um, some people know what they want to do. They know the path they need to take. They know the steps they need to do. For instance, if you want to be a chartered accountant, then there's certain things you need to do to become a chartered accountant. But in my experience in my life, um, I found that my life seems to have a bit of a will of its own. Um, things have come up that have changed the direction of my life. But I found that if I have a plan, it still keeps heading in the right direction. I still keep building my business. I still keep building my knowledge. I still keep building and creating more of what I want, both in my family, in my business, in my personal life, in everything that I do, in my health. Without that plan, without that idea of what I'm trying to achieve and a sort of vague idea of how I'm going to go about achieving it, I wouldn't get where I hope to go. But with too much of a plan, I wouldn't enjoy life so much. I wouldn't be able to build into it or have, you know, go out with a friend one evening or um, go walking with my cousin or do something spontaneous that I really enjoy. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, and you, as usual, all the show notes, uh, all the links <laughs> to my, my website, my online coaching and all of that, sorry, my online courses are all in the show notes below, should you want to contact me for coaching or anything else. Have a fabulous week. So much love from me to you. Bye-bye.